Hello, I am Dr. Lou Cabahat, Dean of Allied Health and Technology Programs for Unitech Learning and the colleges of Unitech, Provo, Eagle Gate, and Brookline. As the chair of the college graduation committee, I am also the master of ceremonies for the 2021 virtual graduation event. Welcome to the proud spouses, significant others, children, parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and friends. Most importantly, we extend a warm welcome and congratulations to our graduates. It is an unusual time in our lives. However, in times like this, it is important to maintain some aspect of tradition of graduation. And that is what we are attempting to do with this commencement video, to incorporate some of the traditions of celebrating graduation while making this event special for you, the graduating class of 2021. Let's begin with the presentation of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the I now have the distinct pleasure of introducing the campus leadership teams. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Who would have thought that we would be in a global pandemic? No one. But you guys took this situation and made it out of something positive. You weathered the storm. I would like each and every one of you to take a moment and just reflect back on the day that you enrolled the day that you re received your first grade in your prospective professions. How did that feel? And now you're here. I also want you to take a moment to give everyone a huge thank you for helping supporting you, your parents, your spouses, your children, even your teachers and other people around the college who've helped you overcome all the trials and challenges that you've had thus far. I want you to take away something. I know each of you are used to me saying, if you stay ready, you'll never have to get ready. And I want you to remember that when you go out into your professions. But I also want you to take away that education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today, Malcolm X. And that's exactly what you did. So go forth, onward, and upward. Congratulations. Hello. It gives me great pleasure to be speaking to you today and to congratulate you on your graduation from Brookline College. This is a very, very hard feat and you should be very proud of yourselves for what you have done. Uh, you started here with big dreams and you stayed on the course to get to where you needed to be. You know, we drive you hard while you're here uh, and that's for a reason. And you guys stepped up and met the task regardless of all that was going on in your personal lives. Uh, you stuck to your dream 
and you've made it a reality. So I just again want to say congratulations from the bottom of my heart. We're so happy for you. Um, don't be strangers. We love to hear from our graduate graduates as they go out into the professional world and perform. So uh, congratulations. Enjoy your graduation. This is yours. It's well earned and you deserve it. Hi there. I want to take a quick moment and congratulate you, our BSN graduates, on completing this major accomplishment. Those goals and dreams that you set out to have years ago are now here in the present. And as we know, earning a BSN degree requires a lot of sacrifice and dedication. And under normal circumstances, this would be a very challenging task to complete. And with COVID, you've had to be even more resilient and show even more sacrifice. And yet here you are now. So congratulations to you, and please know that we at Brookline couldn't be any more proud of you. Thank you. It is an honor to introduce this next group of professional whose contributions help shape each graduate's learning experience. Of course, I am referring to the faculty. Our teachers are the most dedicated and hardworking group of people who never give up on their students. To the teachers of our graduates, thank you. We appreciate your perseverance and dedication to excellence. Congratulations. I am very proud of you and all your accomplishments. You've made it through the Medical Lab Technician and Medical Lab Scientist programs here at Brookline College. You are a success, and I can't wait to hear about all your other successes as you move through your careers. Congratulations. Congratulations. You made it to graduation. Here we are. You've earned your diploma, your degree. We started from the beginning, and now you're here headed out to your new career. Brookline College and myself wishes you the very best in your endeavors and we are so excited that you get to walk today. You have pushed through, you have had perseverance and dedication and it has made you come out on top. I want you to think about when you started and where you are today and how proud you should be of yourselves because you made it. Today is your graduation. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, 2021 PTA graduates. I'm so proud of you. The perseverance that you have shown throughout your endeavor through school as well as in the clinical rotations is phenomenal. I can't wait to see all that you are going to become in the, in the next few years. Please stay in touch. You've done a great job. Congratulations. Congratulations, you're done, you've made it. It's the end, you've completed this. I am so proud of each and every one of you. And most of all, I am so thankful that you've allowed myself and my staff to be part of this journey with you. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, Brooklyn College Class of 2021. I couldn't be more proud at this moment of your accomplishments. I'm glad that I was here for your journey and help you on your path to a health care career. I know that it's been a difficult year for all of you. Um, however, you rose above your challenges and are ready to go out and change the role from student to healthcare provider. At this time, I could not be more proud and happy that I was part of your journey. Please be sure to stay in touch, reach, grow, and continue to learn. Students, congratulations. We are so proud of you for achieving your goals here at Brookline College. Now, for those of us in the registrar's office, it makes every bit of hard work that we do worth it each and every day to see you graduate, go out there, represent yourselves, and represent Brookline College as our newest graduates. We can't wait to see what you do. So congratulations from all of us here at the registrar's office at Brookline College. Hey guys, congratulations. Take a minute, seriously. Consider all that you've done to get to this place, what you've accomplished, pat yourself on the back. Lots of time, lots of energy, lots of emotion invested into this right now. You are capable of anything. Remember that moving forward. Never stop learning, never stop driving, never stop achieving. Don't be a stranger. And again, congratulations. Academic honors is the highest honor that the college bestows upon graduates. This recognition of academic excellence is earned by graduates that achieve a 3.5 cumulative grade point average and higher at the conclusion of their program. The college distinguishes these graduates by awarding a gold cord to be worn as part of their regalia. Also, a gold star is placed next to the graduate photo symbolizing this honor. 
Next, we recognize our student ambassadors. The college student ambassador commits to going above and beyond to assist their classmates. On campus, student ambassadors always stand out in their red scrubs. The college distinguishes the student ambassador by awarding a red cord to be worn as part of their regalia, and a red star is placed next to the graduate's photo, symbolizing the student ambassador status. Next, we would like to recognize graduates who obtained employment through their clinical or externship course performance, and also for any student currently working in their field of study. The college distinguishes these graduates by awarding a green cord to be worn as part of their regalia, and a green star is placed next to the graduate's photo, symbolizing this achievement. Lastly, the college recognizes our graduates that are also veterans. This category of graduates is made up of students who often delayed their higher education goals, first to serve all Americans. Veterans stand out in our country and our colleges. The college distinguishes these graduates by awarding a red, white, and blue cord as part of their regalia and to symbolize their commitment to service. Now it is time to present the graduates.
As we close our ceremony, remember that this is an exciting moment that marks both your accomplishment and the start of a new chapter. We applaud your dedication and your perseverance as you continue on the path to success and lifelong learning. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Hello, I am Dr. Abdel Youssef, the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for Unitic Learning and the Colleges of Unitic Provo, Eagle Gate, and Brookline. First of all, I would like to take a moment to offer a special gratitude to all of the families that have gathered to watch this video and celebrate the commencement ceremony. It is my honor to address the faculty and staff, the graduates, families, and friends, and most of all, you, the graduates of 2021. I am sorry that I cannot join you in the live session like I do every year. However, we are very fortunate that technology has allowed us this forum to be connected to recognize your achievements. I know this may not be what you pictured, and this pandemic has changed everyone's life, but we will always find ways to get together and celebrate this special moment. You may expect me to talk about the pandemic, but instead, I would like to, to congratulate you on this achievement and share with you some thoughts on how you can make a difference in the future during uncertainty, but hopeful times. We see the light at the end of the tunnel as vaccines become more and more available and so more people are getting vaccinated. We will all be able to have a safer summer and fall this year and be able to see our loved one in person. The rest of 2021 will be for sure better than 2020. As a college and institution of higher learning, we have strengthened our ties into the community in order to support the healthcare providers. Early on, many of our campuses donated personal protective supplies to local hospitals and clinics. And we were able to successfully secure clinical rotations and externship sites and as a result, our students were able to graduate on time and join the frontline heroes. The fact that we are all finding new ways to do things, like we are all celebrating this graduation virtually, just goes to show you that our graduates won't let anything stop them from honoring what is so important in life. I want to say this is an extraordinary time, and you are an extraordinary graduate. Each one of you came to the college to test and equip yourself for the next phase in your life. While you were in school, you have enriched our community. You have made new friends. Now you are ready to make a difference. You show courage, strength, and determination. You overcome and overcame monumental challenges, yet you continue learning no matter what was happening. This demonstrates your resilience and determination. It is forever a part of your character, and you can be proud of this for the rest of your life. So as you graduate from this college, you graduate as an enriched person. You graduate as someone of high achievement. You graduate as someone who has proven yourself and you have triumphed. You are more prepared than anyone else in our college history to handle life's changes. The pandemic did not stop you from reaching your goals to make your dream come true. As you go out from the graduation today, you will be going out into a different world that has desperately needs you, 
a world which you can help to remake, to reshape, and a world that needs the kinds of tenacity, determination, and commitment that characterized our colleges and programs. Your great efforts have brought you to this milestone in your life. Your degrees and certificates, which we confer and celebrate today, will take you to new places. Let's together rebuild the world for a safer, healthier future for everyone. So, in saluting your achievement and in wishing you every success, it is now my pleasure and my privilege by the virtue of my authority as a provost and chief academic officer to confer your degree and certification for which you have worked so hard. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you.